Unlocking the Secrets of Calibration Curves Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic that might sound a bit technical at first. But don't worry. I'll guide you through it step by step. We're going to explore the meaning of calibration curves and understand why they are crucial in various fields, especially in science and engineering. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about the English language and scientific concepts, this video is for you. Let's unlock the secrets of calibration curves together. A calibration curve is a tool used in scientific measurements. Imagine you have a mystery substance and you want to find out how much of a certain chemical is in it. A calibration curve can help you figure that out. It's basically a graph that shows a relationship between how much of something you know you have, that's your known quantities, plotted on the horizontal axis, and what a measurement tool, like a sensor or a test, says you have, plotted on the vertical axis. The key point here is that by using substances with known quantities, scientists create a standard curve. Then, when they measure something unknown, they can compare it to this curve to find out the quantity of interest. It's like having a map where you know where certain landmarks are, and when you find a new landmark, you can figure out where you are by looking at the map. Calibration curves are incredibly important because they ensure accuracy and reliability in experiments and measurements. Without calibration curves, it would be difficult to trust the results of any experiment or test. They are used in a wide range of applications, from environmental testing to medical diagnostics. For example, in medicine, calibration curves are used to determine the concentration of drugs in a patient's blood. This ensures that patients receive the correct dosage of medication. In environmental science, these curves help measure pollutants in water or air, ensuring that our environment is safe. Reading a calibration curve is straightforward once you understand its structure. The curve typically starts with a straight line that eventually levels off. The straight part of the curve is where the relationship between the known quantities and the measured values is most accurate. This is the linear range of the curve, and it's where you want to make your comparisons. To use a calibration curve, you'll 1. Measure the unknown sample with your instrument. 2. Find the corresponding value on the vertical axis of the calibration curve. 3. Draw a horizontal line from this point to the curve, and then down to the horizontal axis. 4. Read the value on the horizontal axis. This value is the concentration of the substance in your unknown sample. And there you have it. You now understand what a calibration curve is, why it's important, and how to use it. Calibration curves are powerful tools in science and engineering, helping us to measure and understand the world around us with greater accuracy and confidence. I hope this video has demystified the concept for you and perhaps even sparked your interest in the fields where calibration curves are used. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson. Remember, learning is a journey, and every step, no matter how small, brings you closer to understanding the world in a new light. Keep curious!